Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still getting a kick out of Modern Horizons, so we're going to be doing Modern Modern Horizons. Animal in my I think that Jake, we actually did not do the slivers draft. Let's see if we can do a slivers draft right now. So Jake, Guardian Lynx, a good buddy of mine, uh, has an unhealthy obsession with slivers. So now it's slivers draft, or the next one will be a slivers draft, depending on which one, depending on which draft looks like it's going to go better for slivers. But I think it's, I think we can, I believe in ourselves. We end up always, literally almost always opening or getting past uh, the F Legion uh, sliver. First Legion, Sliver's Legion, Sliver, the first Sliver of Legions. I don't, you know what? You guys know what I'm talking about. Please take all chickens. Are Sliver's chickens? The first Sliver, is that who it is? It always takes so long for the seventh, the seventh to the eighth player. And and it's holding true right now. Is Cloud Shredder the white? The Cloud Shredder is the white red one that that gives haste and flying to all your slivers, right? That guy's, that one's insane. That is one insane sliver. What if we just open the first sliver and then we're like, oh, it was perfect. Someone explain to me how you have forty-eight Modern Horizons trophies. Like, come on, no cube. There's no cube up, so I can't really do cube. People keep asking this question. I'm like, I, I you know, man, I don't, I don't consider, uh, I don't consider elimination, single elimination, legacy cube. I don't consider that an option. I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play one round and be like, oh dang, I lost in the first round. I guess I played one round of my draft. Pod cube? What is that? Oh no, dude, that's literally what I'm talking about. Why would I want to play single elimination? That sounds absolutely terrible. Cube is one of the most swingy formats you can actually have, and like only having the single elimination option available is ridiculous. Like I even I even tweeted at them. I was like, "Hey, why is only the single like if you're gonna have the cube up, just have both formats?" And it's funny because if you look, I don't know if we can open it. Uh, how do I open this and get the like the, the kind of more info? Nope, that opens a website. View prizes. Nope. I guess I literally have to pay this to enter it. I'd really like to see. I just want to. I just want to take a look and see how many active players are in this. And it's weird that you can't see that because I feel like that would affect my decision. Like this has eighteen hundred active players. I'm pretty sure I looked at the. I'm pretty sure somehow I was able to see and it did not have a ton of active players. Like there's one person in the I guess I guess there's no active players at all because it's a it's it's single limb, right? So I guess that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's that never mind. I no, I was thinking of Dominaria, and Dominaria had like not a ton. And it doesn't say it. It doesn't say it here either. That's weird. Hmm. Interesting. I like that they have it, but what's the point? Why not just have the league? Like, what? I don't understand the difference. I don't understand why you'd have one and not the other. Like, who's the demographic that you're catering to and then trying not to cater to? I mean, there's also one person in the queue, which is pretty comical. Lava Belly Sliver. Lancer Sliver. Mongoose Sliver. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna take Lava Bill, sir. Uh, you can do two at once. Yeah, I have no desire to double queue. <laughs> double queuing is just not even fun to me. Lava Belly Sliver, it is. Nice forced sliver. Followed by no slivers at all. I guess this guy is two slivers. Grave Shifter, also a sliver. Force of Rage, I don't care about. Mob is great. Hmm. Hmm. 
Grave Shifter might be better than regular cohorts, and I think it's probably pretty reasonable to be three colors. If we're going to be slivers, we're probably going to be at least three colors. So. Yeah, I think Grave Shifter's at least as good as, as regular cohorts, and better. And we're probably more likely to get more irregular cohorts. Bought a bed for my kid, he won't sleep or go into it. Suggestion? That's a good question. Sometimes it just takes time. Like, sometimes they have to, like, realize that it's theirs, you know? They have to kind of do it on their own. Alpine Guide. Settle seems great when there's no slivers. Plus, we're still on par for the uh, for the black white deck if we don't get any slivers. Yeah, we're just taking Settle. I think that's probably the best card here. Also, blinking our Grave Shifter. Solid. Solid strategy. Oh, mighty, 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 young and I'm in my prime. Oh! well this pack's pretty rough i like talisman just because it does help fix our mana a little bit the only other card i would take is goblin war party but i don't know where we're at right now so i'm just gonna take the talisman could also take snow covered plains dipping in while the randy orton matches on as he's the pits <laughs> i accept I accept your Randy Orton downtime. Yeah, we'll just take this. Okay, well, I was hoping for more slivers than no slivers. Scuttling sliver is a sliver. It's not great, though. Changeling is a sliver? Is This, this is probably just better than this, right? I mean, in terms of... Even, even as just like a... Even as just a creature, I don't... Like, I just don't know the, the, the two mana untap. I don't think it's very good. Maybe it's good. Oh, see, we get one anyway. Oh, regular cohorts though. These are all sli these are all slivers. Thank you. Uh, no real slivers though. Cave of Temptation, I guess, is fine. How? Why? Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Keep being awesome. You keep being awesome. Got him. Got him. Uh, Cave of Temptation? Sure. Is that better than Ephemerate when we have Grave Shifter? And a regular cohort? Maybe. Rocks? Uh, and that's the only. Yeah, we'll just take Rocks Veteran. Yeah, nothing. No no slivers. Uh, is this pack one? Yes. Wow, none of the other slivers came back? They're, they're not that good. Dang. Hater's gonna hate. Take a playable card. Thank out. you! How about now? Still nothing, huh? Force of Rage? Interesting. Spaghetti Toucher, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Ooh, Vesper Lark is fine. Okay, well, this is not, not where we want to be with the slivers, but I mean, technically speaking, we have one, two, three, four slivers in this pack. Thank I can you. see playing a fountain. Mon Preda, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Scuttling Sliver? All right. Scuttling Sliver? All right. Well.
All right, first sliver incoming. Mirrodin besieged, not the first sliver. Tempered sliver. Whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, put one encounter on it. It's actually pretty good. Magmatic sinkhole, also good. I think we're just taking the tempered sliver. Does this set have enough fitting? Fixing. Um, maybe? I mean, I think it does have a good amount. Like, if we get one of the fountains, I think it's fine. If we get... Uh, I'd probably play one more Cave of Temptation. Oh, this is a lot of scuttling slivers. This bag is also pretty rough. <sighs> String of disappearances. Unearth is actually pretty good because it gets back most of our slivers. Josh, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I'm just going to take Unearth here. Eladomri's Call, and that's all the slivers. Valiant Changeling seems great here. So does Venomous Changeling. I think it's Valiant Changeling. That is a sliver. Generous gift. Pashalik Mons is actually pretty good here. <laughs> it's not a sliver, but it is a very, very strong card. It takes over those long games. It's better than Generous Gift and probably a second settle. Yeah, we're just going to take this and be grateful for it. These cards are exciting. Oh, Spring Bloom Druid is exciting. I lied to you guys. That's a pretty easy choice. <laughs> Tempted to take the Fire Islet, actually. Comically, uh, that is a fixing land when we have blue cards and and red cards. Johnny Big Large and Talls, what's going on my dude? Uh yeah, we'll just take fixing land, sure. Oh, another another fixing land. Sure. We'll play oh, Talisman. Lancer Sliver though. And ooh, and Urza's Rage. Lancer Sliver is nice. First strike is a relevant ability. This is real tempting, though. I think we're going to take the Lancer Sliver here. Magmatic Sinkhole came back? Well, that's uh, probably the easiest Magmatic Sinkhole I've ever had. It 
Yeah, none of these cards are exciting. Throws was might always just hit a uh, sliver, so. Yeah, sure. As wow, those are late treetop ambushers. So I think we're Abzan splashing for the red cards. Probably not going to play Scuttling Sliver, I would imagine. I think if we can keep it to four colors, it's probably better. Mob seems great, especially with no slivers that I can see. Goes well with our Settle, our Sinkhole. Yeah, we'll just take the Mob here. Cryptrats is great. I don't like that it kills most of our deck. I think it's just Rocks Veteran here. Rocks Veteran in multiples is really, really good. Plus, I don't think we're going to have a ton of black mana to really take advantage of this anyway. Return from Extinction would be a nice comeback, but I think Rocks Veteran is just a much better card to pick up here. Enduring Sliver. Two drop slivers are where you want to be. Smiting Helix. That's also where you want to be. Yeah, we'll take Smiting Helix. Our deck is like, this deck looks fantastic at the moment. I want to take Changeling Outcast. Actually, maybe this guy's great when you can just have, like, Tempered Sliver. You go Changeling Outcast and a Tempered Sliver just gets bigger every turn. Lancer Sliver number two? Actually, I'm okay with that. I think it's one of the better three drops you can get. I don't think we care about Vesper Lark that much. Mother Bear is fine, I guess. Probably beats one of the treetop ambushers. Unearth getting back any of these guys is pretty good. Etchings of the Chosen actually seems pretty good. I'm usually not a big Etchings fan, but I think in the Sliver deck, we're probably on the right track here. We can take a wall. Another Rocks Veteran? Jeez. Jeez. No, 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 no. I think it's just Return here. I don't think we want a third Rocks Veteran. I'd rather have a Return. Yeah, I'll take weather. Planes. Planes. OK, 
Okay, so oh, three planes. Snow-covered lands are plentiful. The rows. So you need two cuts and yeah, two cuts doesn't seem terrible. Probably cut winding way. We have return now. Tempered Lancer, Lancer, Lava Belly. Grave Shifter, regular cohorts. This deck looks pretty good, actually. I'm gonna just cut the ambusher. I don't think we're an aggressive like slam this guy into the red zone deck. All right, so wow, one forest is all you're recommending here. It's <laughs> aggressive. So you want nine sources of this? That seems terrible. Why would you recommend that? Three mountains, but one forest weird so this is three of these one two three three five six seven eight nine ten easily cut two of those black we have one two three four five so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 16 17 that seems about right three four five six seven eight probably cut one of these add another green i think All right, let's see how this works. This deck looks sweet. We have a lot of good cards. Smiting Helix, Settle, Mob, and Magmatic Sinkhole are all solid removal. Etchings is pretty nice when we have a... Uh... How many slivers do we have? One, two... What? Oh, I guess we can't move them. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, snap keep. One red, and uh, I believe we are good to go. G two G. Sometimes you just get there. We could also name goblins. Give our goblins plus one plus one. Let's just play you actually.
Please, everyone, don't forget about the GP Twitch tickets. They're, uh... So I got an email from uh, from Haji Golashi last night, actually. And there's uh, a couple different packages. One's, one is the Ouch My Throat package. That's $75. Four spectator badges, one jug of Sunny D, and one box of lo lozenges. That's the Ouch My Throat Hurts package. Ouch My Throat package, not the Ouch My Throat Hurts package. The next one is the Cornbread All-Star package. This is $450. This is a pricier package. But... With the Cornbread All-Star Package, you get two tickets, all general VIP access. Uh, you get one loaf of cornbread, because why wouldn't you, right? It's the Cornbread Package. Come on. One can of beans, and one signed autographed Willie Nelson LP of your choice. I literally have no idea why. But, you know, really, why not? Is really... Why not? And then finally... There's the meatball sub package, which is negotiable. It's a neg negotiable price. And uh, that has two general admission tickets. One meatball sub, one block of pepper jack cheese, and one Frank Lepore meat and grate. Meat and grate. Not to be confused with the meat and greet. Similar but different. Oh, so they meet me with their block of pepper jack and then I grade it for them? Fascinating. Hmm. And these gentlemen... Really wish I had a way to get rid of this thing. Did I gain a life? Oh, that's gas. That's gasoline. So one, two, three, four, regular co-snorts. What do you think of Ben Folds? I'm a Ben Folds fan. I enjoy the musical stylings of Ben Folds. I actually saw Ben Folds live. He opened for John Mayer once, and that was a great show. I was a fan. You don't think 942 counts as late night? That's weird. It's not early. So, do we just name goblins? Crashing footfalls. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I guess we got to win in like three turns. So, sliver, sliver, sliver. We can name sliver. So one, two, three. I was gonna name Shape Chef, I'm like, oh, what a, I broke the game. But that's Changeling is a uh, is, uh, thing you wanna. All right, let's, let's get busy beating, if you know what I mean.
The day it's the daytime of the night. Oh Jesus. You exiled your second good fortune unicorn for that, huh? Okay. Well That's disgusting. Choose a creature, I'll choose you. Sacrifice you. That was actually not terrible. That worked out a little better than I expected. Oh, we should have actually let the irregular cohort die because we have Grave Shifter. Ooh, that would have been a better play. I guess we can still sacrifice the irregular cohort, so. <sighs> Irk Tenors, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. One year of remembering to come back each month for Prime. Really appreciate it, man. It means a lot. Thank you so much, dude. If you guys have Amazon Prime and you have not done so, feel free to... You can use your Amazon Prime account to get a free subscription. If you guys are on YouTube, you can also do that. And then just come back, hit the subscribe with Amazon Prime button, and then you're good to go every month. And it helps me out. Costs you nothing if you guys already have Prime. Five, three, four, four, one, two, three, four. We'll play Grave Shifter. Yep, get back the only creature in our graveyard. Do we just play Enduring Sliver? Yes, because I don't think the trigger is worth that much. I mean, Crashing Footfall is going to be pretty miserable. It's okay, guys. We have two turns. Oh, they have one card in hand? Actually, that makes me feel pretty decent. So now we can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. We have 7 mana, so we can actually play this guy and not keep up that because we don't have a second red source. That is unfortunate. I think we're going to sack the Grave Shifter to make some goblins and then sack those goblins to make more goblins. But then again, it is a sliver. Magic's hard. Man, Force of Virtue. That's a hell of a rare. So is Crashing Footfall. So is Double Good Fortune Unicorn. <laughs> oh, boy. That time when you have too many Good Fortune Unicorns, so you just exile one to play your Force of Virtue. Oh, I'm Destructible and Trample, eh? A solid gentleman. There's no point in blocking here.
That's pretty good. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. I wish we had more mana. I guess we can outlast this though. How do we not die to these five fives with haste? Actually, they don't have haste, do they? Because they're not creatures. Creatures enter the battlefield with haste. The rhinos should not. Hmm. I think we just outlast this guy. Yeah, first strike sliver would be bonkers here. I eh, can't do anything. Okay. I mean, it might have been better to get rid of this guy, actually. We were thinking because I'm, I, I was thinking of attacking that I might just get rid of this guy, but being able to just double block the 5-5 five, five with 2-3-3 three, three seems very, very good, whereas this guy's really hard to deal with now. And we're just going to go to 5, unfortunately. That might have cost us, but... I wish we just had a better way to block... Third good fortune unicorn. Ah, <sighs> seems good. Yeah, this is probably these guys all have trample, so we have to soak up fifteen points of power. Guess we can, but it's not gonna be great. Yeah. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, ten, well, it's a very fourteen, fifteen, and then we have three left over. I mean not impossible really, but I wish I had a way to deal with the enchantment, but Five. So five creatures could potentially die. Five goblins specifically that will deal one damage to any target. See if this is Alpha City. One. Actually, I said we have to block 15. We actually don't have to block 15. We have to block 14. <laughs> and then we can go to one. But yeah, not killing this guy was brutal. But this guy already had this guy had trample, right? Uh, no, vigilance. Plus one, plus one. So it would have been a six, six because there is a land. So or not, not that is, I guess that's just seven cards rather. They would have threshold, so it would have been a six, six. Blocks. Block one of you. Block one of you. And I wish you didn't have trample, but what can you do? 
So three, four. If we triple block here, then we get four points to distribute. We can actually just kill this guy. Does that seem good? Probably not, right? We take one less though. But then we're out of like, then we're out of goblins. I want to be able to kill this, but then we're not killing this. Thank you. So, still why? Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is actually complicated. Hey, chit chatters. <laughs> uh, what if we actually just put this guy in the front here instead? But then we only get we only get two damage to go through, and that's just sad. <sighs> it's actually a hard block. Because then only these are the only the only two goblins that are dying. I mean, this is actually better. Because yeah, okay, I like this better. This should be fine. Ugh, I don't love it. Okay, so they're killing these two. So one, yeah, so I guess we don't get to shoot that thing after all, unfortunately. Or do we? Actually, we can sack this one to give this one indestructible, which makes it kind of the same. And then we're gonna deal one, two, three. Yeah, let's do that. Choose target creature you control. This one, pay one. Sack this one. Shoot. No, it doesn't make it the same. Dang it! That was bad. I'm just. This is confusing. I'm sorry. There's a lot going on here. Ah, that was bad. Maybe it was fine. I don't know. Uh, and this is just two damage that doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Yeah, that was stupid. I think. What are you getting back? Savage swipe. Sure. Um Sacrifice so creature of the chosen type, sliver. Target creature can trigger the indestructible. So we can sack this to make this guy indestructible, which is not terrible. It's not great. <laughs> Still, I have a good night, buddy. Uh, is that good? Probably better than not doing it, right? Choose a creature you control, pay one, sack this guy, sure. Yeah, this guy's problematic. It's worse now. Man, now I wish I said, uh... Yeah, as long as they don't draw a creature, uh, and this guy doesn't get trample. Yep, and they drew a creature. Fantastic. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Why would you ever draw a land there? In your triple good fortune unicorn crashing footfalls force of virtue deck. Why would you ever draw that? I don't understand. Yeah, I think we're just gonna run it like this. We did not see Mob, we did not see Smiting Helix, we did not see Magmatic Sinkhole, and we did not see... wasn't there another piece of rule? I guess not. Magic's hard, man.
I will play first. Oh yeah, this is the hand. This is the hand that's gonna... Yeah, this is fine. Oh, and we have no black mana. Jeez, magic's hard. Oh, fantastic. All right. Oh, Rock's Veteran. Okay. All right. Oh, Rock's Veteran it up. Sunday's going all right. No complaints, Benjamin. Benjamin Button. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to deal with double rhinoceroses, but I guess uh, you just do what you got to do, I guess. How is this real? Triple Wall of Blossoms, Eldamri is called a Triple Good Fortune Unicorn deck with crashing footfalls. Give me a fucking break. Like, I'm just trying to have some sliver fun, man. So, I'm going to crack this now, and then we're going to play Spring Bloom Druid. Let's get rid of planes, and then we'll get a planes, and we'll get a Swamp Arena. Yep, two four fours. Totally, totally easy to deal with. Totally not completely degenerate. So I have some cream soda, and I also have some sun-kissed. And I was tempted to mix them both to see if I could make like a creamsicle flavor beverage. What do you guys think? Is that... Is that good, or is that just too crazy? Or is it just crazy enough to work? Yeah, that's how they make Sunny D. They make Sunkissed Orange and Cream Soda. And then they have Sunny D. I would never play that stupid-ass frog over my Good Fortune Unicorn. Sunny D, it'll burn the hood. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy. So we can actually play this and this, but then we can't play this. That is unfortunate. But they do get first strike. Ooh, first strike's a hell of a drug. All right, let's strike first. Why can't I convoke with my enchantment? Is that a thing I can do, guys? I'll name Sliver. Sunny day ain't no Let us know if it's a good idea after. I'll do it if you do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we call it the old, uh, the old. Cream soda sun kiss challenge. Oh yeah, do you drink like gallons of it and you know get drunk? Uh, no, you just literally it's tasty beverage and you just drink it. What's the challenge? I don't I don't know. It's just tasty. 
It's not complimentary, but it has to be the only jingle written for Sunny D well over a decade. Yeah, that's probably true. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Regrowthing back, crashing footfalls like you do. That seems a little... Look at that. Look at these long-term plans our, our, our buddy has. Well, Lance, a second Lancer sliver. What a time to be alive. Sunny D ain't no movie. Oh, look at that. It's a little good fortune unicorn. Oh, it's two. Two good fortune unicorns. Like, why am I even playing this game? This might as well just be a buy for our opponent, right? Like, come on, dude. One, two, three, four, five. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. They still have five cards in hand. Uh, would you say you are surviving or would you say you are thriving? Uh, definitely survive. What is that from? Definitely surviving. Definitely not thriving. Oof, interesting. Well, <laughs> oh God. Just dig their grave. You win. Easy schmeasy. Yeah, that seems good. One, two, three, four. I can grave shifter and get back their good fortune unicorn and just play that next turn. How come this Rock's Veteran isn't a... Sliver. I couldn't think of the word. <sighs> Boy. I really wish I could crack Talisman of Hierarchy for a land here, but... They have four cards in hand. Like this is really, I think our only hope is that they just, they just deck them. They uh, not deck themselves. They time out before we do. It is well known the breeding rituals of rocks and slivers. I, I that's what I'm saying, man. God, it's so weird that they just didn't actually, like, just to respect the respect the source material. You know. Look at this guy. This guy's basically a sliver. Same thing. Same, same. Different, but same, same. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Oh, good. Indestructible and trample. Yay, I guess we'll take it. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. All right, so yeah. Uh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just going to pass here, guys. I don't feel comfortable uh, tapping our, our boys down. I kind of wish you were the Death Touch changeling now. I kind of do. I kind of do as well. Uh, I kind of wish we had this deck because this is the uh, this is the 3-0 deck. And we are not that. I mean, we might be. But we're not this deck is what I'm saying. Like, I think our deck is actually pretty good. And I think against most other decks... This is a pretty solid board. Rocks Veteran plus three, four, four first strikers. However, oh, well, that's not too bad. Of course, there's nothing I can really get back here, unfortunately. Like, this is just the only guy I can blink, which isn't super exciting, but. Cleveland rocks. All right, let's do it correctly this time. We'll exile this guy and blink this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of a planes. Let's get... Uh, we'll get a forest and probably just another planes. All right, well... I mean, they get two more five fives next turn, so that's probably gonna be manageable. We're at nine. Yeah. I kind of went, yeah, okay, I read that already. Dang it. I hate going back to the chat, and I'm like, man, a bunch of chats probably happened, and then there was no extra chat, and I was just reading the same old chat. Okay, well, I'm just going to concede here. I, we're not going to beat this. Like, they have the long game. We have no real way to recover. Like, they're at 20. I just don't have any incentive to just know. What a big money grip. I know this is weird, but it feels really good because it's nice and cold. Oh, man. Why do cold things on your forehead feel really good? Someone explain the science behind that. Luke, if you're in the YouTube comments, let me know. Eh, this hand needs one white, but I think it's, I think it's manageable. We can work on that. Work on that? Work with that? I don't know, man. Magic's hard. I will keep. And we're on the draw. Frank after dark. Steven, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you. I thought it said Frank after dank at first, and I was like, hey, buddy. This is a family-friendly stream. Oh, we found look, we found our white source. Baller, we can actually sack a forest to get a white and a red, and then we have smiting helix mana. Oh yeah, we're doing it. How are you always messing? Because I always have random tools on my desk. I look, I got a, I got a tape measure over here. Just be like, God, his head is so big, dude. It's unbelievable. Frank likes fixing things around the house and hanging pictures. Always has random hand. That's true. She's correct. Awkwardly true story. 
I'm a hand tool kind of guy. What can I say? It's because the smoothie coldness is nice and the foreheady hotness. Scientifically speaking, of course. Yes, of course. Katie, as a, as a, as a doctor, can you tell me why I appreciate the, uh, the coldness of a, of a tool against my forehead? Which is a really weird sentence. So... And I haven't like I got I got this, there's a knife over here, which is kind of a tool. It's a util it's a utilitarian device. And then I have this Leatherman, which is like thirty tools in one. This deck is this desk is just mono tools, guys. Sounds <laughs> look all he does is put the screwdriver on his forehead. Can we just get him some real? Just get him some real ice or something. It's just getting sad at this point. I'd assume it causes a little bit of vasoconstriction in the vessels and allows them to get back to their natural elasticity. Well, shit. That's a good that's a good theory. That's what I was going to say actually, but I didn't even I just I wasn't thinking about it for some reason. You know, sometimes you get distracted. We're not blocking, so That was a clean guy. I only see one tool in here. string. Wow. Wow, that's messed up. I thought we were friends, I, Bob. Not great, Bob. I, Bob, do a do do Scooby do 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 Rocks veteran. Where are my slivers? Where are my slivers at? It was said with la oh, well then never mind then. I heard there was a stream going. I don't know who told you that nonsense, but maybe. Frank, for the other game stream, did you have a specific genre in mind? Also, if there's a game you want to stream that you don't own, let me know. This team has gifting as Josh, you were too good to me, buddy. I can't think of anything that I don't own. I did like you you mentioned Slay the Spire, which I did like a lot. I want a chance to get it set up though, because I don't want to just jump into it and like have anything like go wrong, you know. Um, some of these other games I have to look into. The Witcher Three, I've definitely God. The Witcher is just a game I really want to play. All right, you know what? I'll I'll, I'll bite. I got a grave. I got a grave digger in hand. B O T W. What is that? Oh my god, really? This card? Yikes. B-O-T-W. What is B-O? Uh, uh, uh. Breath of the Wild. Oh, I can't. How am I going to... A, I don't have a Switch. If you guys want to gift me a Switch and a capture card, I'll do it. I'll, I'll hook up a Switch and a capture card if you guys want to gift that nonsense to me. Is that a Switch game? Or is that a Wii U game? It's a Switch game, right? I also play Marvel Ultimate Alliance because that game looks spicy. Oh, it's on the Wii U? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Wow, Witcher 3 is probably the best open world RPG ever made? Oh, crazy. Maybe we'll just play that. They have four cards. We have 7,000. But the one thing we don't have, guys, lands. I'll buy you all the Dark Souls games. I do have. I actually have Dark Souls, and I play them for like five minutes, and I'm like, "All right, I've seen about enough." Don't counter this, dude. Don't exclude this. Oh wow, you didn't exclude it. Wow, maybe Witcher. Maybe we'll do Witcher Sundays. That sounds like gas.
Should I play Witcher with a keyboard and mouse or with a controller? Probably a keyboard and mouse. That's what I would say. I think I'm a keyboard and mouse for RPGs, for 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 PC RPGs. <sighs> I'll gift you Kingdom Hearts 3. Wait, for what? Wait, for for what though? What are we what are we playing that on? Also, Kingdom Hearts is a game that scares me in the same way Metal Gear Solid scares me. And that like I feel like if you don't know all of the crazy lore, um it's really hard to follow. Oh, Esper Hot Dog. I completely agree, dude. And I think as 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 time has been going on, the games just keep getting better and better. I completely agree with you. The God of... Um, if you were to ask one of my favorite games, I think Spider-Man for PS4 is actually insane. It is one of my absolute favorite comic book to video game translations. Did you ever play The Last of Us? Yes, I did. Hot take, hot controversial, hot, hot controversial. Chris, is this the game rooms? I've seen this one. <laughs> I've seen this Kingdom Hearts summary by Barry Kramer. Um, hot, hot controversial take here. I actually was not as impressed with The Last of Us as everyone else. No spoilers because even though the game has been out for fifteen years, but I got to the to the end of it and I was just like, that's it. I just I don't know. I expected more. If that makes sense. I feel like there's a there's a real mana issue here we're having, guys. I feel like this is the correct play. Could have been rocks. I kinda wanna keep up Elvish Fury. What's Hollow Knight? What is that? That sounds familiar. The gameplay was good. I enjoyed I enjoyed The Last of Us as a game, but like for for some reason, like I just didn't it didn't grip me the same way it gripped everyone else. I think I feel like the story was kind of like building to something, and at the end they're just like meh, and I was like, oh, that's it. It's weird. Metroidvania with a cutesy skeleton style. Wow, that's my aesthetic. Answer Steven C's question. I'm curious too. Okay, hold on. Uh, what are your top three games of all time? Top three? Wow. Okay, so my number one game of all time, the game that has had the biggest impact on me that I've played multiple times through is Final Fantasy III, uh, which is otherwise known as Final Fantasy VI. Um, absolutely one of my favorite games of all time. It, it, like, it redefined what you could do in a video game for me in terms of like story and stuff. I was like, wow, this is insane. Here comes Fallen Shinobi. You guys ready? It's always Fallen Shinobi. One swamp does not seem threatening. Oh, that guy? All right. Oh, alrighty then. Maybe I should have blocked the flyer. Alright, so that's one of them. What are the other ones? My two two other favorite games. Fallout New Vegas is definitely one of my favorite games. Wow, those are easy too. I like how easy those two are. They really stand out for me. Fallout New Vegas and Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. I gotta think of one more. I have played Dishonored. I enjoy Dishonored. I don't think there's a black card that can save this guy. 
Mother bear, mother bear, what are they feeding you? We sports? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't think it's we sports. Oh man. I feel like it might be a fighting game. I feel like I have to have at least one fighting game in my top my top three. I'm just trying to think of games that had an impact on me that I was like really blown away by. Nah, it's not God of War. I actually haven't even played the new God of War, which I probably would love. I think it's... Nah, it's not Doom. These are good guesses, though. I can appreciate these guesses. <laughs> oh. No, it actually... It wouldn't be Mortal Kombat X. It would probably be closer to the previous Mortal Kombat. It's like, more, wow, double Umazawa's charm. It would probably be like Mortal Kombat 3 for me. Mortal Kombat 3 in the arcade was revolutionary. Let me actually look at some of my games here and see if any of these stand out for me. Um, I'm a big L.A. Noir fan. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's in my top three, but it's definitely, like... It's definitely... Like, the, the, the style of the game is def definitely in my wheelhouse. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to unearth. We're going to play one, two, three, four for Roxy Boy. And then we're going to get back. We're going to unearth our lava belly. <laughs> Press X for now. Oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? We have two cards in hand. Why do you still... Oh, God. Wow, that's amazing. I want to vomit in my mouth right now. How do I keep losing to forces, to rare forces? And this one Throat Seeker has been going, just going ham on our, our lives. I don't know. I don't know if I can think of a third right now. My first two are 100% Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. And... Uh, Fallout New Vegas. I'm just going to tap this guy down? This is ridiculous. The, the amount of work this Throat, this throat Seeker is doing is just vomitous. Can I just get one, one planes so I can play my cohort... Come on, I just want to be cohorting. Oh, Jesus. I'm really tired of all this. Why are they at 32 life? <laughs> Sunny D, it's going to burn your throat, Seeker. I thought I do. I love Spider Man. I don't know if it's in my top three, though. I think Spider Man's fantastic. I think it's one of the best comic book games ever oh I should have kept this up I'm terrible at this. oh we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna sinkhole anyway so Sonny Michael B it'll burn your throat Apparently everything burns my throat, not just Sunny D. That seems like a... Is Subnautica... Um, that's, a, that's a horror game, right? One, two, three, four. I'm leaving my mother bear in the garbage can. Nah, it's a water game. Really? It's not a horror game, though? 
is this you guys fucking with me? And then I play it and I'm like, it's a horror game. It's a horror game. And then you guys are. It's a survival adventure game. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's kind of horror, right? What's Thassalophobia? I have fear of deep water. What's that about? I can't even watch videos with deep water and be like, no, I get. Oh, good. Oh, we're basically dead here. One, two, three. Oh, that is Thalassophobia. Well, shit. Being afraid of Thassa. That's hilarious. I don't know if I have Thalassophobia, guys, but I do have a terrifying fear of deep water. I don't know if that, uh, I don't know if that changes anything. No, that's what we're talking about. Oh, God. Okay, so we get like two turns, basically. Oh, Jesus. I really don't like these floaty boys. One, two, three. We don't need any white mana here. All right, Sunny D, it'll burn the moon. I'm just gonna name Goblin because I have goblins all up in here. Oh, no, to be fair, it's not even drowning. Drowning isn't the fear. I'm not even afraid of drowning. I'm afraid of, like, the darkness and the vastness of it. Like, if I was just stuck in the water, and I can see either nothing or for, like, for thousands of miles in every direction of just darkness, that creeps me out. Like I can be, I can be, I can be completely confident that I could breathe. I could have a breathing apparatus. I could have a, a diving suit, whatever you want to call it. And if I'm underwater in deep water and it's like super dark, and like it's just nothingness and for miles around me in every direction, and I can't see anything, I I can't. Like I would just lose my mind. That's maddening to me. That is just terrifying. It's just fear of massive vacuous space that you can't tell what's beyond your field of view. Yeah, mostly it's that. But also like the fact that I know giant, not only are there giant terrifying creatures in the sea that, um, that, that I know of, there's also giant terrifying creatures in the sea that we don't know of. Is this, it was always, it was always charm number three. Wow. This is just ridiculous. Oh boy. Our deck is probably not as good as I thought it would be. Which makes me sad. Have you played Journey on PlayStation? Is that PS? Unless you're unless you're referring to a postscript. Uh do I just want Vesper Lark? Do I just want to board in a Vesper Lark? Do I just want to board in a sadistic obsession to kill all these idiots? No, because it costs a black. Wall sounds good, though. Another streamer I watched called Game Attack streamed Subnautica on VR and had a panic attack. Yeah, I can see it going probably the same way as that. That sounds about right. I would just lose my mind. I don't know, man. Like... Uh, yeah, that's fancy is fine. If you're scared of open water, do not play it. There's seen there's 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 definitely been games that I have played that have open water sections, and it makes me like, I it's like a, it's almost like claustrophobic. I'm not sure if I can dis I'm not sure how to describe it correctly.
I'm convinced that if I get in the ocean, I can't see the bottom. Something's gonna eat me. Yeah, because I don't. I don't know what's there. Like if I'm on the land, I can see. There's like it's basically two dimensions, right? There's one plane on the ground. If I'm standing on the ground, there is one plane with which something can come at me. If I'm underwater, it's just literally 360 degrees of just crazy nothingness. And it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. Alligators being an irrational fear for you seems... Um, seems contradictory considering you live in Florida. <laughs> Just make sure you've ingenious infiltrator. Okay, that's better. There we go. <laughs> Oh, actually, this is... Oh, this guy can't block. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. We're getting into a good... Guys on YouTube, we're getting into a good fear conversation and a secondary game conversation. And and this guy's flying anyway, so... Apologies for the suboptimal plays, but our deck doesn't seem like it's delivering, and that makes me sad. Please sing the song Miles sings into the Spider Verse. I actually was. That was literally the song. It's called Sunflower um, by Post Malone and someone else. I don't know who the other person is, but it's a very that whole soundtrack is such gas. I prefer Primo alone. Well, you're a sucker then. There's also a lake to a huge river outside my house now, and I scared the crap out of myself on accident by watching the water too long. <laughs> well, that's no good. That's no bueno. I do like a good postmodern Malone. Ooh. Oh, ninja. Come at me, bro. I dare you. I dare you to come at me. None of these guys are good to blink. That's my biggest problem. We could attack with this guy, then they just block, right? That doesn't do anything. Any reason for the Snowlands? Why not? <laughs> no, no real reason. I played... We were playing a match earlier. And uh, we actually managed to Fallen Shinobi the opponent's... Um, the opponent's permanence. And they had a Frost Walla. And I wasn't able to activate the Frost Walla because I didn't just include my Snow Plains. So there's really no... You have no real reason not to include them. But I didn't... You know, there was, I don't know, some obscure reason I could have included them. You know, just in case something comes up, I think that's fine, so. Red. This one, one, two, Lava Belly Boy. Snow Real Reason. Oh, God. I think this, I think this orange soda is really doing me in. Yep, no blocks because it's unblockable. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Why thank are you, you like this? Navy Birdman, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, 
Um, yeah, these guys are problematic, I think. I mean, is a snowland a strictly better island? I wouldn't say strictly better because there are situations where you probably don't want it, maybe. Dimitri, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right, so I think we're just playing Rocks Veteran. I can't see a reason to kill either of these when they're not when they're when they're totally blockable at this at this juncture. Is there a situation where there's never a situation where non snow land is better? What about cryoclasm? Is that a thing? Uh, destroy planes or an island, heals three damage to Lightning's controller. No. Isn't there, uh, is there no snow detriment things? Feels like there's something. I, don't, I really don't want to go snow overboard. He's, he's right. Super Fritz is correct. They should just reprint Tundra as a, like as Snowlands. They could have snow snow dual lands. Boom boom boom. Ba -da 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 -da. Am I not attacking with this guy? What am I thinking? Should I just alpha here? I just tap this guy down and then just alpha. Then we can exile one of these, blink the lava belly, maybe. I mean, I feel like we're in alpha. We're in alpha bull shape. Alpha bull shape. Well, you say even if there's snow hate, there's much more non-snow hate. But the thing is, like, the non-snow hate is still going to hit snow lands because they're all basic lands. So all things that hit snow basic lands are going to hit basic lands, but not all things that hit basic lands are going to hit... Not all things that hit snow lands are going to hit basic lands. Like Snow Swamp Walk, for example, right? Like... That's not going to be able to reg. That's not regular swamp walk, but regular swamp walk is snow swamp walk, right? So, take ten here. One, two, three, four, five. I guess this is fine. Ease my troubles, that's what you do. Damn you and your lot. Hey, buddy, listen, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. Oh, look at this. Look at this aggression. So we take 10 here. Go to two. So yikes for me, dog. Are you dead though? 
Blinking the Lancer just gets one trigger, right? It's one trigger either way, because only one creature is under the battlefield, right? All right, well, we're tying it up, guys. They added a blue and then they conceded. Solid strategy, that's what you do. Take away all my sadness. I do like Sadistic Obsession. It just kills things that I shouldn't be able to kill. But they also have... This would be a weird situation if I board in Sadistic Obsession, right? I think it could be good. What do you mean it kind of sucks that it's better not to run your favorite basic land art? What do you mean? When are you coming to visit Seattle? That's a good question. That is a good question. I would like to come soon. You guys, I, I like, I seriously miss it. I seriously miss you guys. Um, I don't like this hand. I'm going to Mulliganos. Ooh, this hand is nice. We can get rid of, I think we're getting rid of, s probably Mob. Mob is worse than Settle when we have white mana and not black mana, so. <sighs> Man, every game with this Fairy Seer. Oh, we miss you too. Nailed it. Achievement unlocked. I'm just going to play Mountain here because if we draw planes, I don't have to take any damage. So I'm r I'd rather not take any damage. If someone was like, hey, would you rather take some damage or no damage? I'm usually 99% of the time going to err on the side of no damage. We did not hit it, but we can still play Lancer Sliver. What if we Sadistic Obsession this guy? Oh god, they're going to kill it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, crying out loud. Get out of my life. Oh, wow. We are good at this game. Get him. Can I get a white mana so we can play this wall? I don't think I'm asking for a lot here. I just cast Firm on a Mystic Snake to win a game. I wanted. Oh, wow. I'm so proud of you. Well, it's kind of a white mana, isn't it? You said if you know me, and I will set you free. Go with him. Oh, I'll just take two. They don't have anything going on? This is so weird. So I can just play wall here, or I can play... Sadistic Obsession on this guy? That seems too good, right? The problem is we got to use two black mana, so we're taking two damage. Or we can just play Lancer Sliver number two. 
Again, we take a damage, though. I think this is a real no guts, no glory situation, right? One, two, three, four. As long as your last two cards aren't double Umazawi's charm, then... Uh, Okay, I think we're, uh... Oh, we also have a Smiting Helix in the graveyard, which is super nice. Okay, are we just gonna win with a Sadistic Obsession? This seems insane if that's the case. see before we go to blocks because then they can respond to this by bouncing their guy it is currently not unblocked or blocked it is Schrodinger's block step and they could pump it and then it will take four if they have like pump it and then bounce this guy for like a ninja, it's actually pretty bad because we take like six thousand. Yep, that's one thing that we were afraid of, but it still dies next turn. So we take three, not four. That's good. And don't have another one of this exact guy. Okay, that's fine. So we take four. Sure. It's like, it's basically we take one more. That's fine. Yeah, this is all okay. They have no cards in hand? Sure. Let's see where these go. We can go Smiting Helix on the 3-3. Three, three. One, two, one, two. If we can hit one land, it's great, because we can play Lancer Sliver, Smiting Helix, and keep up a black for just double blocking this guy. Uh, they put both cards on top. Jeez. Hmm. Not ideal. White, red. Helix, this guy. Cutting it close here. These two creatures. All right, let's do it again. Okay, that's that's a death. Unblockable gentleman. I see. I see. I mean, these two are going to be our death. We're not finding a white source that actually. Uh, so we can go one, two, three, tempered sliver. Still keep a black up. Double block here. Negative one this guy and then kill it next turn. All right, well. It's gonna be another Phantom Warrior, Phantom Ninja. Hmm. Hmm. Thank goodness. Oh boy. Sure. Wow, this game is tight. Four to twenty, but we have a solid board state here. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. I mean, we know they have like 3,000 Umazawi's charms, so. Wait, 
what? Um, <laughs> what? I, uh, huh. Uh, what? Is that just desperation? Was fascinating. I'm. I don't know what happened. Is my internet still live? What's going on? What is? Oh man, all these lands. I feel really lucky right now. And yeah, we're just gonna alpha here. They have one card. I'd rather just close this game out in two turns. I literally have no idea how we're winning this game. Oh, yes, I do. Sadistic Obsession sideboarded in. Wow. Wow. Slivers. Slivers, ladies and gentlemen. Slivers. Shut up and take my money. Winning with slivers, bugs. <laughs> Jake, what's going on? I don't know why I said that. You've been here the whole time, but I didn't know what else to say, so I panicked. Oh, now I feel awkward. Either way, I mean, Sadistic Obsession on a Lancer Sliver. What more can you ask for? What more could you ever ask for? You might say they were your sliver bullet. No, no one's going to say that. Go match. Four cows, four cows, three person in Wyoming. Jesus. I don't want to be responsible for I don't think you're responsible for them just because they're there, though. Why are you renting a rhino? How do you get around? What's your mode of transportation, smart guy? Can we... I got one more round, guys. Come on. Come on, one more round. We can do it. Come on, Modern Horizons. You're a solid draft set. Biscuits. Alex, what's going on? All right, we're doing it. All right, come on. We can 2-1 this bad boy. I think our last opponent's deck was very, very good. And I think if we were able to beat that, then I think we're in good shape. My wife is from Wyoming. Gotta say, the cows are really a bit of trouble to take care of at first. But you get used to them. <laughs> 
Jake, you remember that, that cow-related place that was right next to the hotel? Do you remember that? They had a specific duty at that at that at that place. Ball semen, correct. That was the <laughs> Yep, that was it. There you go. Nailed it. Nailed it. I only really got to watch you on YouTube, but I remember watching a video where you talk about you buying shoes on StockX. If you ever need a shoe, let me know. I'm actually huge recent. No shit, that's awesome. Alex, that's super cool, man. Alex, I would love to get in touch with you and chat about some shoes. I don't think there's anything I'm looking for, but I do, I love the, I love the thought, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, I guess I'll just better in here. No attacks. I feel like my slivers are better. So we can tap this guy down and then just smash, but then they block here. If they tap, if we tap this guy down, then they just block here. Oh boy, <laughs> magic's hard. So we can actually. What if we go regular cohorts in? We can actually smash with all of these guys. Tap this guy down. They'll block here. They're taking. They're only taking five though. It's not like. It's not. What do you think? They're going around and bull semen is like just guessing. How much do you think it costs? That's funny because I actually literally can't even imagine. Like, it could be a... I don't know. It could really be anywhere. It could be like $30 an ounce or it could be like $0.14 cents an ounce. I think you just gotta you just gotta consider the market. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, so we're gonna play this and we're probably just gonna play Cohort. Uh, I don't like this. That eh, doesn't do anything. Depends on the bullet comes from. Wow, that's that's the most that's the most Western thing I've ever heard. Like, y'all got any bull semen? How much? How much is it going right on the bull semen? And then the guy spits in his spittoon. He's like, depends on the bull. And you're like, oh my. And then you're like, this guy, this guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alan, did you seriously just put a universal semen sales link in the in the chat? Is that is that what's happening right now? I just want to confirm. Oh god. One, two. This is a lot of slivers. And I'm really wishing this Rocks veteran was a If you're trying to breed cows, that's a legit link. <laughs> Alright, I'm clicking on it. Oh, wow. Look at these breeds. Brangus, Brahmin, Bolingo, Belted Galloway, Normand, Sailors. This, I didn't even know these, these were their names. I'm just going to click one for a second. We're looking at uh, the Hereford. The Hereford breed was developed in Herd... Herf Her Herfordshire, England, best known as the white-faced cattle. I'm sorry. There's a picture. <laughs> so, oh wow, this is insane. Wow, 
this site is actually insane. This is way too much info. That This is way more info than I ever thought I needed. I'm actually blown away right now. Well, now you have it. Alan, you're the hero we need. Good lord, dude. Uh, I guess this guy. And then we'll just pass here. Wow, what a time to be alive. Okay, all these cohorts are so irregular. God, two six twos, huh? A lot of crap you gotta learn in vet school even if you never plan on working with cows. That's interesting. Oh man, there's so much information in the world. Oh gosh, this guy just dies, right? I just want to make everything big enough to, to to get blocked by this guy, but to kill everything else. Supply and demand is right. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. I feel like our, our side is getting good. I feel like our board is juicy. Got that juicy board. Oh, I see. Well, that's... Eh, whatever. You make a 4-4. Four, four. That's fine. Wait, what? You just plussed. Oh, that's great. Alright, well, that's fine, I guess. Where were you a little bit ago? I feel like we're alphaing and just tapping this guy. No, we gotta tap. Yeah. <laughs> We got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we play this guy and we can unearth something that they block. How much would you take? Four, eight, nine, twelve, twelve, three, four, three. Yeah, you gotta actually block here, right? We're just gonna alpha and We're gonna tap your veteran down. None of this is as disgusting as dipping your cookies in sweet onion sauce, so I'm okay with it. God, the conversations we have on these streams is unbelievable. It's like my favorite thing ever. Let's tap. Let's tap this guy down. Man walks into a restaurant in Spain. He sits down at a table and notices a man enjoying an interesting meal. He asks the server, what is the man over at the other table eating? The server responds that he is eating blue bull's balls. After a bullfight and the bull is killed, you can order and eat his balls. There is a bullfight tonight and you can you can come in for dinner tomorrow night and order the dish if you like the man responds perfect see you tomorrow night the next night the man again go finish it up Aceru oh we just win the game I think he was like oh first strike yeah this is almost impossible to deal with Uh, Lancer Sliver is actually real impressive. Wow, Acer, you really, you really holding out on us here. Need end of joke or brain will die. Yeah, I'm like, come on, buddy. The next night, the man again got sat at his table and waited his dish. When he arrived, he noticed the balls were very small and questioned the server. Why are the balls so small? Last night, they were nice and big. The server responds, well, sometimes the bull would... Oh, God. <laughs> nope, don't like that. Oh, 
Oh, all right. This is nice. We can go Mother Bear into Spring Bloom Druid, which would get us a black and a a white. Balls in your court. Yikes. Good lord. Oh, wow. That's good. Block? No block, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna sack the planes and get two planes. How's that sound? Pretty good? Oh, I didn't even do it. I didn't even use the ability. I don't, yeah, that was a weird, that was a thing. That was a strange thing to do there. Okay, okay. Wow, we have mob and a smiting helix. Seems good. <laughs> They're like, hey, this card's pretty good. I hope I can play this. Does Black Cat NJ know it? Yeah. Uh, well, it depends on the... Wow, see, that second white source would have been real good here. I'm playing Yarrick Field. Yarrick Field? What does that mean? Vamps in Standard the last few days. Do you have any deck you currently... Not in Standard. I haven't played Standard in, in quite a bit, actually. Modern After Draft or Draft After Draft? That's a good question. I might have to get out of here. Uh, interesting, interesting. Actually, I like Tempered Sliver with this guy. Ooh, look at this. Man, I really wish, like... Oh, I shouldn't have tapped the black there. That was a miss. That's what's known as a misplay. Watch this one changeling outcast just win us the game. God. Got stuck with a mob in hand. I work in a meat and seafood department, so I spent today spreading the gospel of the impossible offer. Not a single person got me. That's awesome! That's actually sweet. Man, times they are a-changing. <gasps> Dan's, what's going on, buddy? Rocks veteran. Rocks the Casbah. Two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three. We don't actually have enough here. I might actually just want to get rid of this guy, to be honest. One, two, three, four. We're one shy. I still think it's the correct thing to do. We're at sixteen. I ain't too. I ain't too scared. Oh, yikes. Huh. Uh, yeah, I'll just block the five here. Wait. How do I not kill you here? I mean, I guess you're not dead. That's how I don't kill you, but still. Yikes. Um, you tap this guy. You take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
I guess we're just getting in there with this guy. Oh yeah, factory farms are actually one of the largest contributors to climate change. Oh, and Tuna, have a good night. Enjoy your sleeps. Sliver boy. Are we going to have enough to do everything? One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. Now we're one shy from doing it all. I want it all. I want it all. Um, okay, so. I feel like this is just the mirror match. This is very strange. I think we just have to survive here, right? I don't know if we can do it if we just... Are they gaining? They're gaining a life every turn? Oh, God. Do I just kill... If I kill this guy... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five for mob. And then we have one, two, three, four, and then this will be in the graveyard for five. We need one more. Oh god, I'm like I'm like really regretting not having like have, this misclick cost us the entire game. I think because not only would we have one more land in the graveyard for this, we would have one land one more land on board. We also would have had a regular cohort mana for like a thousand turns. Uh, like these guys are really problematic. If we kill this block of this. What do we take four five six seven eight nine we're still dead i think we're dead here this guy just came into play though so i guess maybe not i don't know oh yeah and i also forgot that for veteran uh, i guess we chump block something oh god this is so gross yeah that is fine do we want a mob here probably So the two we don't care about. So five, six, nine, ten, eleven. If we kill this guy, we're taking four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. Yeah, that feels terrible. How much do we have now? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten damage. Can sinkhole go to the face? No. <laughs> well, one, two, three, four, five, six. We do have. This is surprisingly close game. A second green from other bear tokens would also be nice, but can they just not have a creature? If they don't have a creature to activate answered prayers, like oh God, every fucking turn. Come on, dude. That's annoying. Because we have to kill this, which means this gets to tap something down. That's extremely obnoxious. Bringing wall in. Wall has been good every time. Mm, take our return. I will play first. 
Uh, yeah, this is fine. You know what? It's fine. I accept. If we can get Pashalaka, Pashalak, like like a Mons going, I think we're good. Pashalak Mons. We just need a red source. Just need a red source. Send me a red source right now. I don't know if I do got this. Dan's, I appreciate your enthusiasm. That's not a red source. That's the actual... If, if someone was like, hey, what's the opposite of a red source? I would literally say a planes. Um, yeah, might, as well, might as well get big. Get swole. Also, I appreciate your Bob Ross, uh, your boss, your Bob Ross emotes. Red source. That's a red source. That is a red source. Oh, you think I'm gonna you want me to block here? I'll take one, okay? Wow. Oh, they were gonna attack, this guy would die, and then they would shoot it. Wow, that's that's something. Oh god, what do you have? For one mana? Oh, nothing. Okay. Oh, some... Oh, come on, dude. Seriously? So just to be clear, I've gotten blown out by f a force in three separate matches. I'm three for three on getting blown out by forces. It's actually impressive. Jesus. All the dancers in your grand cafe. I mean, we're still doing fine. Our hand is great, but still. Ugh. Oh, vomit. Sure. Well, we're definitely killing this answered prayers for once. So I don't take 14,000 damage off of it. Uh, let's add a red. Four. And we'll get rid of the sliver. Because we're going to keep this guy in here because we still have unearth. This guy's doing some work too. Slivers all day. Yep. Well, that should that should slow me down a little bit. Unless, unless I activate this guy, which I can do now because we just drew a mountain. So I think a one, two, three, four, and then yeah, that seems good. Sure. 
<laughs> oh boy. What is this dude? As long as you have no cards in hand, you can tap a deal doing Yeah, sure, who cares about that? Oh, all right then. Well, I mean, we got we got to work with what we have here, so. Wish this guy had lifelink, but, you know, so be it. Are we in chump block mode? Oh, just take seven mode. Yikes. Ocean man, take me by the hand. Well, this guy's lethal now. So they'll probably just exile it and blink this up. Oh. This is only six, though. So that, ooh, this is interesting. No, nope, that's not as interesting. All right, well. Any trick, and I'm just utterly destroyed here because I've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands to their five. I've drawn six more lands than they have. Oh, Christ. Sure. Second time in this draft, I've gotten blown up by Force of Virtue. Four forces, three rounds. Seems totally reasonable. Absolutely, a totally normal thing to have happen. Hey, what's the easiest way to beat a 7-7 seven, seven sliver? Well, I guess you just have to have this rare. Uh, that's just really frustrating. Four is an answer. 13, this is exactly lethal. That's pretty comical. So we go to three here and have absolutely no way to deal with this because even if we block this guy, we go to one. Yeah, Elvis Fury. Fantastic. I mean, it must be nice. Every force you've had has been an absolute blowout. So, I mean, even though you're two for one in yourself, it's clearly still very good for you. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on uh, Patreon, on Twitch, on Twitter, on all the, all the places where you can find me. And I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you, guys. I'll see you later.